coming to you live from the Walnuts compound in the great state of Wisconsin. Today I would like to share with you guys my top 25 favorite Arrow video releases, the way that I see it. I'm actually going to show you guys 26 titles. The first one here is going to be an honorable mention. I'm going to talk a little bit about each title and why I like them, but I'm going to try not to spend too much time on each title because I don't want to make the video too long. I'm also going to leave this as an open tag for anybody who would like to show off some of their Arrow titles. I was going to tag people individually, but I don't know if any, everybody has 25 Arrow titles. Maybe you only have 10 or 5. If you'd like to show those off, please feel free to do so. Make your own video. And if you do, let me know so I can check it out. I would love to see what you guys have in your collections. <clears throat> So we'll get right into it here with Day of Anger, and this is a really good spaghetti western starring Lee Van Cleef and Giuliano Gemma. The reason I really like this film is because it didn't have a Blu-ray release here in the U.S. It did have a Wild East DVD release, which was a pretty good release, but this Arrow Video Blu-ray looks superb. It's really, really good. And if you guys are fans of spaghetti westerns, you should have this in your collection. This is uh, region AB, so it's good for the US or UK. And it does have the reversible cover as always. And this is the original cover. In my opinion, it's one of Lee Van Cleef's best spaghetti westerns. So that is an honorable mention. And now we're gonna get into the top 25, counting down from 25 to one. <clears throat> Number 25 is Buddy Cooper's The Mutilator. And the film itself is uh, it's a pretty decent slasher film. I'd say it's middle of the road, maybe a little bit better. But this edition right here is, is phenomenal. It comes with a really nice slip cover here. Not going to go through all the insides on this one. This is a title that I suggested to Arrow that they put out. And whether or not I had any bearing on their decision to release this is only they know, but... This never had a proper DVD release in the U.S., let alone Blu-ray, and here we got both now. So, this is the Mutilator, and grab that one, add that to your collection. Number 24 is a little, it's a little sci-fi comedy horror starring Rowdy Roddy Piper. You guys all know the title, Hell Comes to Frogtown. This still does not have a Blu-ray release in the U.S., but it does have a couple different DVD releases. This one was very rare and uh, low copy quantity by Arrow. It was uh, limited to 1,000 pieces. <clears throat> and it is sold out now. It's been sold out for a long time, out of print. And it's going for some pretty decent money on the secondary markets. And there you can see the original cover. The film is okay. I, I think it's middle of the road, but as far as collectibles go, this is one of my favorite Arrow video titles. That is Hell Comes to Frogtown at number 24. Number 23 is a really fun popcorn film. I, I enjoy this film, The Burbs, starring Tom Hanks. I watch this film about two times every year at least. And the picture quality on this release is phenomenal. It's, uh, you're not going to ever find this picture any better than it looks now. I don't think it could get any better than this. And um, this is the Steelbook edition of it. They also have an Amaray case edition of this. I say pick up at least one of those if you can. Really fun little film. Comes with a nice little booklet here. This is definitely one of my favorite arrows. You see the skulls in the trunk. So that is the Burbs. I know a lot of you guys have most of these titles already. But for those of you who don't have a lot of Arrow titles and you're curious as to what is out there, I'm making this video for you guys to use maybe as a little guide to see what you want to pick up in the future. Up number 22 here. This is called Spirits of the Dead. And these are three tales by Edgar Allan Poe, done by three different directors in an anthology style picture here. And one of the segments is by Federico Fellini, 
and I, I enjoyed his his segment the best out of the three. And this is the window box edition. I know Arrow also released just the Amore case of this. This came out in 2010. I've been collecting Arrow video titles since 2010, and I have close to 200. <clears throat> excuse me, close to 200 titles so far from Arrow. You can see that they do have a choice of two different covers that you can put in the window box, and they have this really nice panoramic style poster view on the inside there and I think that looks gorgeous that is really good and this is a good film and pick this one up guys it comes with a nice booklet here too about a 60 70 page book 60 there's Edgar Allan Poe there and then it comes with some really nice glossy pictures and tons of write-ups on the three segments of films here easily one of my favorite Arrow video releases. <clears throat> so do yourselves a favor, grab that one, put it in your collection. I'll take care of that later. And up number 21 here is a DVD release. And this is Pieces, and this is one of my favorite covers. This is a good film. It's been, I have this film probably about four or five times in my collection now. Grindhouse releasing also did a, a nice Blu ray box set. But this DVD will always stay in my collection. You don't have to go to Texas for a Chainsaw Massacre. It also comes with a poster with the same image here on the cover. And uh, I really enjoyed when uh, Cult Labs collaborated with Arrow Video and they came out with uh, the posters and the window boxes. And I know that Cult Labs does a lot of work with Shameless now. So I'm not sure if there was a falling out between Arrow and Cult Labs, but I would like to see them collaborate again, maybe do some more window boxes. They don't have to do all window boxes because I do like the box sets that Arrow has been putting out. But it would be nice if they kind of, um, you know, had a little variety, maybe a window box here, a box set, a steel book. You know, kind of mix it up a little bit. But uh, I'm not criticizing Arrow at all because everything they do is gold to me. So there's the inside there. It does come with a little booklet. And you can see the poster. I'm not going to pull that out. But they used to put these little catalogs in there, too, of some of their previous titles that you can read about. Beautiful edition, and that's why this is number 21 in my collection. <clears throat> Let's see, where are we now? This is number 20. And although these type of films are not my forte, to be honest, I, I'm not really a fan of this genre of film. But... With that said, I do love this box set that Arrow put out, and I think it's still a great collectible. And I did buy Necromantic 2, and this is a really nice box set. It comes with a thick book, and it comes with a digi-pack style uh, packaging here on the inside. I'll show you the digi-packaging first. And another thing I really liked about this box set is they added the CD soundtrack as of the third disc. So you have the Blu-ray, the DVD, and the CD soundtrack. They also added some Polaroid picture style art cards. Let's kind of flip through these really quick. It's a nice touch. I, I really liked it. This is one fucked up movie. And it also comes with a certificate here. And it was limited to 3,000 pieces. I got number 1351. It has some really nice art on the discs. And it's all the stuff that we've come to know and love now of Arrow Video. They really do spoil us collectors. I think this is about a 100-page book here, and it's, I mean, it's just everything you'd need for this nice little box set. If you're a big fan of this movie, it has everything that you need right here. So that is Necromantic 2. I'm going to keep moving on here because this is already going to be a pretty long video. And at number 19, this is the first Necromantic. And again, I just could not pass up this box set. <clears throat> it's got uh, three discs again. It's got a Blu-ray DVD and the CD soundtrack. And the CD has uh, 27 tracks on it. And again, you have this beautiful book here for the film. 100 pages, I think. And... It's just unreal. I mean, it's just a very beautiful piece. 
to any collection. Whether this is your type of film or not, I think this is still worthy of being in anybody's collection. Okay, and we have the digi book or uh, digi pack style packaging, and you got the Blu-ray, DVD, CD. This one also comes with uh, Polaroid picture style art cards. And this movie was pretty gross. The whole um, the whole concept of uh, sleeping with a corpse to me is just uh, it's appalling, and it's it, it, I feel like I need to take a shower when I watch a film like this. This was limited to three thousand. I got twenty five sixty seven. That is number necromantic. Or that is number uh, nineteen necromantic. So I'll take care of that off camera, putting that stuff away. And now we are up to number 18, and this is the complete Dr. Fibes. Really good uh, release here by Arrow Video. So I'll show you guys the back here. This was limited to 3,000 also. And this is Region B. And you have the handbook here, the complete Dr. Fibes book. I'd say it's roughly 100 pages. Just jam-packed with info and pictures. A really nice piece to any collection, especially if you're a Vincent Price fan. Here comes a, this is the abominable Dr. Fibes, Region B. You see Joseph Cotton. And this is Dr. Fives Rises Again. Nice little uh, digipack style packaging. I like that. I like the way it looks. Nine killed her, nine shall die. Nine eternities in doom. Put that one in your collection, guys. Most of you guys have that already. But if you don't, just want to consider. Okay, we're up to number 17 now. And this is... Dario Argento's Deep Red, and this is kind of a runner-up for this box set here. This box set is, a, is the 4K scan. It's an upgrade of their previous title. It came out in 2010, I believe. Yes, this did come out in 2010, and this came out in 2015. And I really love this Deep Red box set here. It's a beautiful thing. And you got the uh, original version on Blu-ray. You have the export version on Blu-ray. And then you have the soundtrack. So that is really nice. I hope Arrow continues to do that. I really do love the CD soundtracks for the, the films. And I do have some in my car. And I listen to some of them as I'm driving. <clears throat> Not all the time, but sometimes. And again, you have the high quality thick stock paper here. And... It's just uh, it's a home run here for sure. And this first one that I showed you guys is a little harder to get now. The window box editions, they're um, they're out of print, all of them. And this is when they used to collab with uh, Cult Labs. And I was gonna say these were the good old days of Arrow, but nothing's really changed. Arrow is uh, top notch. Um, up number 16 is Society. <clears throat> this movie is a little weird, but this is a great addition here. It's a Brian Usner film. And I, I love this packaging. It's it's probably hard to tell from the camera work here, but it's embossed. And you can feel the little bumps of each of the characters here. And I, I really love that packaging. And even the, it continues on here in the book and the digipack. And I knew when I saw this, I thought the movie was okay. I've seen the movie years ago. It comes with this nice comic book here, too. That's a nice touch. I knew that I had to get this edition. And I thought that they could have probably... Not that I'm complaining at all, but they could have probably gave this like a uh, kind of like a rubber coating or almost like a latex coating to make it kind of feel like it's fleshy. That would have been a nice touch to it, I thought. But 
it's beautiful just the way it is. So look at this right here. That is cool. And then here you have the Blu-ray. And here you have the DVD. There's no soundtrack for this one. And it's a little invitation. You are hereby invited to take your place in society. And it comes with a little booklet here. Maybe, I don't know, 20 pages, 22 pages. <laughs> Beautiful edition. I think everybody should pick this up. I think it's still available and it's not very pricey. I would grab this one before it go, goes out of print because once these Aero Video box sets go out of print, they're pretty pricey. Okay, where are we at here now? We are at number 15. And let's see, I kind of lost my place here. Okay, number 15 is the American Horror Project box set, which comes with Malatesta's Carnival of Blood, The Witch Who Came From the Sea, and Premonition. And they all come on their own discs with reversible covers. It comes with a book. The reason I like this box set is none of these films were ever released on Blu-ray in the U.S. and these are kind of old forgotten drive-in style films. And Arrow kind of resurrected them from the dead and brought them back and put them out on not just Blu-ray but they put it in a spectacular box set. And for that I'm thankful. I mean Arrow is an amazing company and they do great things so this is one of my favorite box sets. And I'm not going to go through all the titles. There are many different unboxings on YouTube. But this is a must-have in your collection. American Horror Project. Okay, that was number... Where are we at here? That was, that was 15. So number 14 is... Let me see here. Number 14 is the Fantastic Factory DVD box set, which comes with Faust, Love of the Damned, Roma Santa, The Werewolf Hunt, Beyond Reanimator, and Arachnid. And it comes in this nice little window box box set. It's a very thick, sturdy case, very heavy-duty cardboard. And then it comes with, this was the little back card that was on the box set. This was another Cult Labs collaboration here. You can see what you get inside there. You're not going to be able to read that, though it's not picking up, but you get uh, all, all the DVDs of the titles I just listed. I'm not going to open them all up, but they do come with little booklets and posters and really fun little popcorn films here. Roma Santa. Faust, Love of the Damned, and Beyond Reanimator, another use in a film, which is a really good film. And I just, I love the way that this uh, packaging is with the window box. Really nice little addition there. So that is my Fantastic Factory box set, which you, I think you can probably get those pretty, pretty reasonable prices on secondary markets. Okay, where are we at now? Uh, we're at number 15. No. I'm sorry, we're at 13. And this is the Dario Argento Neo Giallo Collection. And this one comes with Terror at the Opera, The Stendhal Syndrome, Sleepless, and The Card Player. And again, it's another style window box there with the hard cardboard box sleeve. And these are some pretty decent films. I And it comes with this little backer card. I like to keep all this stuff. So, uh, Stendhal Syndrome is a good film. It has Asia Argento in it. Um, Sleepless was a good slasher. I like that one a lot. The card player, not so much. Um, I, I think this is one of Argento's weaker entries in his uh, film catalog. But I'm still glad to own it here in this box set. And then Opera, or it's also known as Terror at the Opera. I think that's the UK title. Very glad to own this collection here. 
It's one of the gems in my collection, and it's number 13 on my top 25 Arrow video releases. Keep moving along here. Okay, number 12 is a David Cronenberg film, Videodrome. I also own this on Criterion, but this box set by Arrow is just uh, the cat's ass, I think. It's just beautiful. So it says here on the back that it's a, it's a four disc and it has the Blu-ray and DVD for the film. And then for disc three on Blu-ray, it has some of David Cronenberg's early works, which is a limited edition exclusive to this box set. And it has the early works on DVD for disc four. And it also comes with a 100 page collector's booklet, which I'll just go through the booklet really quick. If you want to see an unboxing of this, I'm sure there are hundreds of videos on YouTube, but this is a hardcover book here. You can see this is really, really nice. And just when you think Arrow can't do any better, they give you a hardcover book <laughs> that comes inside the box set. Oops, sorry about that. I had uh, very shoddy camera work there for a second. Very fun film, and it's an even better box set. In my opinion, this is a must-have for anybody in their collection. So check this one out, get it? That is David Cronenberg's Videodrome. And that was number 12 on my top 25. Okay, number 11 is the Edgar Allan Poe, Black Cats. There's two different movie adaptations from Edgar Allan Poe's Black Cats. You have a Sergio Martino film and a Lu Lucio Fulci film. And you have the Martino film as your vice is a locked room and only I have the key. And the Fulci film is the Black Cat. Also comes with this nice booklet here. We'll go through that. 100 page book, tons and tons of write-ups. I like the Fulci film uh, a little bit better. I like them both, but um, yeah, you can't go wrong with this box set. I guess I can show you guys the covers really quick. Here's the Fulci Black Cat. 2K scan, comes up the Blu-ray DVD, and this is the Martino. Your vice is a locked room and only I have the key. 2K scan, Blu-ray DVD. Tons of um, special edition, or uh, special uh, bonus features for both of the films. So I will put that away off camera. And that was number 11. And now we're getting into the top 10 here. And this is the Death Walks Twice by two films by Luciano Ercoli and uh, this was a set that was released in the US on DVD by No Shame so I was and it was very pricey and hard to come by I do own it on DVD but I was so glad to see this was uh, upgraded to blu-ray I knew I had to grab this one on day one and these are really good films good 70s slashers it's, uh, Legion AB Here's Death Walks at Midnight. And then again, get this really nice uh, book. 60 page book. Chock full of stills and write ups. Everything that you'll definitely need for your box set. And the picture quality, audio quality, everything on these are superb. That is number 10. So now we're getting into number 9. And this is the Killer Dames box set by Emilio P. Maraglia. And this is um, The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave and The Red Queen Kills Seven Times. These were also released in the U.S. by No Shame. I was very glad to get these on Blu-ray as an upgrade. And this is limited to 3,000. And it comes
comes with a book here. We're going to flip through this and then I'll just show you guys the covers. Doesn't that guy kind of look like Freddie Mercury a little bit? Kind of fitting that's a uh, Killer Queen box set. Pun intended. And here's the cover for The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave, and that is a very iconic image right there. I do remember that back on the VHS format days, seeing that in the video store. The Red Queen kills seven times. So these are some of the best films ever made. I think these 70s Giallo films. So that is number, let's see, where are we at here? This is number nine in my top 25. Killer Dames. And now we are up to number eight. And about a year ago, this would have been much higher on my list. But um, Arrow has come out with a couple of titles since that knocked this down a little bit. This is still number eight on my list. And one of my favorite movies of all time, TCM2. The buzz is back. Such a great addition here. And this is the three disc. Disc one has the movie. Um, disc two has some of Toby Ho Hooper. Sorry. Toby Hooper's early works. And let me see what is disc three. Maybe it's the, uh, well, I'll open it up and see here. I think it has Toby Hooper's early works on Blu-ray and DVD. And then it also comes with a 100-page book. Most of you guys have this. I believe it was limited to 10,000, so this was kind of, this was available forever. It was hard to sell out for some reason. Here's the Blu-ray of the film, disc one. Here's Toby Hooper's Early Works Blu-ray All Region and Toby Hooper's Early Works DVD. It would have been nice if they threw in a soundtrack. I think that's the only way they could have made this set any better. But I'm not complaining. It comes with an art card with Nail and I. And it comes with a art card, The Burbs. And then it comes with a certificate here. I have number 2384 out of, I believe, 10,000. And then this book, really nice, very high quality. This is one of the prizes in my collection. I love it. You could probably still get this pretty cheap. I think they still have them at the Arrow Video Store online. And then uh, they do have sales on this from time to time. So you can probably get this for... I'd say probably around 20 bucks or less even. I'll probably find it on a secondary market, eBay or Amazon. Probably get it for 15, 20 bucks brand new, I would think. But this is definitely a must own, so grab it somehow. Okay, that was number eight. Now here's number seven. This is Bride of Reanimator, HP Lovecraft. Brian Usna. One of my favorite horror movies of all time, and this is a beautiful box set here. It's the three disc. You get a Blu-ray and you get a DVD and then the those are the unrated versions and disc 3 is the Blu-ray of the R-rated version and it's the limited exclusive that comes in this box set and then you have the comic book that is also an exclusive to this box set here so we'll go through the comic first and this is probably a 100 page book and you can see that it does have an entire comic book. I have not read it yet, but I do plan to at some some point. And that, that is just amazing. Arrow spoiling us. I will continue to keep giving Arrow my money. It's my favorite label. A lot of people agree with that. And they think that's their favorite label too. And there you have the three discs which we talked about already. This is the another little booklet that comes with it, talking about the release, some write-ups and stills. And then it has a certificate here. And it talks about the Dawn of the Reanimator, which was the comic book we just went through. 
three disc directors approved limited edition. I thought it was going to have a limited number, but it didn't. It was limited to 3,000, but I'm not sure. So that is number seven on my list of my top 25. Okay, number six, there's a couple steel books here I'm going to show you guys. This is the Zombie Flesh Eaters steel book. This one sold out very fast, and then it went for big money. I was lucky enough to get it before it sold out. This came out in 2012. It's the strong uncut version, and I'm going to kind of give a, a little honorable mention to the window box of the Zombie Flesh Eaters, which I love as well. This one is still sealed. I have this film probably about 10 different times, 10 different editions of it. I will never open this one. This is quite pricey and it's limited to 500 pieces. This one came out in 2011, I think, 2012. I started collecting Arrow about six years ago when a lot of people didn't even know about the label. This was limited to 500 and I actually picked up about five of these right from the Arrow online. And I ended up selling them and trading them over the years, but I kept one for myself. But at that time, 500, it took them a little bit, to, a little while to sell them. But now if Arrow released 500 of anything, it'd be gone in like an hour. So I was kind of with them since the beginning, and it's fun to watch how well they've, how well they've done and how quickly they've grown. And that was number six on my list. Number five is another steel book. This is the City of the Living Dead, and I think that is just spectacular. I do own the window box of this one as well. I will not open this. This is just a collector's piece here, but I, I love it. Another Fulci film. That's number five. Number four is the third steel book here in a row. This is The Beyond. And I, I just think that these steel books are are great. So now we are into the top three and at number three is my everything blue exclusive Killer Clowns from Outer Space. It's the steel book that comes in a slip cover. This was limited to 300 pieces. It's pretty rare, hard to find. It's going for crazy money. I'm gonna keep this sealed but I do have the Killer Clown steel book here. So basically all this edition is, is the slip cover that goes over this steel book. So I, I brought this out in case anybody wanted to see what it looks like. Two disc edition, here was the J card. And then it comes with this book. And this particular steel book here is pretty easy to get. They still have them at the Arrow website and you can get them at eBay, whatever, but this one's a little bit harder to find. That's why it's number three in my collection. Um, the top two, here's number two, this is the Hellraiser Scarlet Box, comes with um, one, two, and three. I'm not going to open this, I did an unboxing of this already, if you guys would like to go back and check out my video, or anybody else's video, I'm sure that there's been hundreds of reviews of this already. It's a four disc limited edition, you got disc one is Hellraiser, disc two is Hellbound, Hellraiser 2, disc three is Hellraiser 3, Hell on Earth. And the bonus disc, disc four, is the Clive Barker Legacy. It's limited to this uh, box set here. And then you get a 200-page Damnation Games book. And this is a beautiful box set. But just to save a little time, I'm not going to open it. Um, if you guys would like to see an unboxing, go check out my archived videos. Or maybe I'll link it below if you guys were interested in checking that out. And number one still for me is the Vincent Price Six Gothic Tales which comes with The Fall of the House of Usher, Tales of Terror, Haunted Palace, Pit and the Pendulum, The Raven, and Tomb of Legia. And this is just still, to me, my favorite box set. It has each of the titles on their own Amory case, and then it comes with the Six Gothic Tales hardcover book. I'll flip through that really quick. This sold out pretty fast, and it's going for some crazy money. I haven't checked the price of this lately, but it was going for... Ridiculous money. It's a nice hardcover book. Another Edgar Allan Poe. It's got the comic in here, and it's just... This is beautiful. 
This is the nicest book to me that Arrow has put out in any of their releases. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So that was my top 25 guys with one honorable mention. If you guys would like to participate, make your own video. I would love to check it out. Just make sure that you let me know if you do so I can watch it. Um, I'd be curious to see what you guys have in your collection and what you uh, find near and dear to your heart for Aero Video releases. So thanks for watching, guys. This is One Take Todd, and have a great weekend. Later.